So welcome back to the shop everybody. In today's episode, we're gonna be building us some roller work stands for our new Evolution saw here. So this is the Evolution S355 MCS. This is their top of the line model right here. You know, we've been doing a lot of metal working in the shop right here. Evolution is one of our new shop sponsors and we thank them so much. I already own Evolution equipment, bought and paid for my own money. So it's awesome when the sponsor sees that, comes along and wants to take care of you even more. So now we're just gonna continue to work with equipment that we were already using. So this particular saw, as you can see, the deck of it sits up a lot higher than my previous one. So whenever you're feeding the long material in, you've got to support it out here. Sometimes I'm working with 12 or 16 foot material on this table. So we need to get a roller stand out here. We're gonna build two of them, because don't forget this table can extend out another four feet, so we can have really long material in there. And I need those roller stands to be able to support the material, the long, heavy material. Sometimes roll it into the saw so I can continue to make cuts. I still have my other Evolution saw, the 380 model, and love it. I'm gonna set it up for aluminum cutting, this one for steel cutting, but it has a different height work stand here, a different height base. So we're gonna to need to make the rollers today adjustable so I can work on multiple types of saws. All right, so one thing I do like about this saw, it's got this clamp bar right here, so we can do fast clamps in and out, and it's got these removable pieces here, so you can do flat clamping, or this will allow you to turn square tube, angle iron, and this also clamps and holds pipe. That's a feature I've never had before. Plus this whole bar can come up and go back down based on the thickness of your material. We will do a full review on this saw later on on our review channel. Right now, we got some stuff to build. So let's go ahead and try this feature out. See, here's the problem. I can only clamp on one side right now. I need to square these ends up. They're bent and I'm expecting this clamp to hold all this weight hanging out here. This is where I really need me a roller. All right, so here's the start of our two rollers. Now we need to build some end caps right here that we can thread a rod through and make these adjustable up and down in some sort of bracket. So if y'all watched the channel a while, y'all know that I use mag drills. And now I've got a new one from Evolution. And the nice thing about this mag drill is they included a chuck with it, something I've never had with a mag drill before. So not only can it use the regular cutters, but you can put this chuck in and use regular drill bits as well. That's a nice feature. So now I have a portable, very powerful drill press. So what we're gonna do right here is cut out some two inch plugs that we can weld in to the end of our pipe.
All right, let's test this out. I have needed these for a long, and I mean a long time. So here they are, nice and complete, very heavy duty. I left them plenty wide enough for wider than material that I'll ever cut. I left the galvanized coating on the pipe. That's why I didn't paint the middle section so it wouldn't scratch it all up. But they roll really nice and easy. You can see the grooves that I cut in there. All I gotta do is just hold the nut on the inside and loosen the outside. And then I can raise this up or down depending on what saw setup that I have and where I need these to be. Right now I have these set to be the perfect height with the base right here. So let's set one down here. I've got a 12 foot long piece of material, which is probably my most common length that I cut. We can put one up here if we want or further out. And we can also put one on the other side of the saw. So if I'm cutting a long piece that may fall off on the other side. Now don't forget with this saw having all these extra clamps and a top clamp, I can hold some pieces. But whenever I'm cutting like say large six inch square tube material like that that's very heavy, I'm not gonna rely on a small clamp that's putting too much pressure on it. That's where I need some roller support in my material. I should have did this a long time ago. All right, so I need to adjust one up just a little to be level with the base here. That's the beauty of these, fully adjustable. But check this out. So if I'm cutting a piece of material and then I got to roll on down to a, another mark, it just comes along so easy. We've got to adjust that back one up to make contact. So whenever I got a long piece that goes down like that, we're sticking out six foot past the table. You can see I can just easily roll my material along, no dragging, just keep making my cuts. This is going to be awesome. Often is the case, I'll do a bunch of repeat cuts, make a little mark, make a little mark, make a little marks, and I can just cut, slide my material on down, cut again, slide my material on down, and just keep continuing to do that. All right, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed this build. I love whenever I need something like that and I can just make it. I use scrap for all of this. I had the steel rod, all thread laying around as well, so it technically didn't cost me nothing. This is all leftover materials from other projects. If y'all are interested in any of the tools you've seen me use today, I'm gonna put some links down in the description. You can go check them out. Majority of the stuff you can find on Amazon. I am in love with all my Evolution tools. Been using them for a while now. This stuff has been top notch, top quality. If y'all enjoy builds like this, Consider subscribing to the channel. We have a lot more builds coming. We'll catch you on the next one.